Okay, since uh, since we're talking about fixed income strategies, right? Uh, we do have a segment on our show, Rahul, every week where we give one financial health tip of the week. And since today's show is on investing in debt funds and fixed income, I thought let's talk about uh, the health tip of the week, which is also about fixed income investing. So, in case you are you've never invested in fixed income, here are some five reasons why investing in a debt fund as part of your overall investment portfolio is a great strategy. One, there's a low cost structure. Two, you have stable returns, relatively stable returns. Three, high amount of liquidity. Four, there's reasonable safety. And five, there's diversification away from equities. So the big question is, how do I pick a right debt fund? The first thing to do is check the average maturity of the fund's portfolio as this has a bearing on your return. The lower the average maturity period, the lower is the fund's volatility and your returns. The second thing to do is make sure the fund's portfolio is reasonably liquid. A large percentage of corporate debt in the portfolio does not bode well in the short term as it's relatively less liquid, corporate debt that is. The third thing to do is avoid schemes with small corpuses. That's because the funds do not disclose if there are any investors who own a substantial chunk of outstanding units. If there are such investors and they decide to redeem their holdings, then the fund could be forced uh, to sell their holdings below the market rate. And fourth, the best tool to capture the interest rate sensitivity of a debt fund is modified duration. It tells you how much the price of a bond would move if interest rates move up or down by 1%. The higher the modified duration, the greater will be the impact of an interest rate change. So these are just certain, uh, you know, tools that you can use to pick the right debt fund. Uh, Rahul, come in on this. Anything that I missed out in terms of, you know, what are the do's and don'ts while picking out debt funds? So apart from that, you can also be one, should be mindful of the more than maturity. I think the more, uh, the modified duration or the modified duration, what the SEBI asks us, the mutual funds to disclose. And it is, uh, you know, it's uh, available, say, uh, on every 15-day basis, the whole portfolio and the portfolio details are available for uh, all the mutual fund schemes for the debt funds uh, every 15 days. And apart from that, uh, uh, I think more or less you have covered, but uh, the credit quality of the portfolio also has to be kept in mind and uh, one should be aware of what they are investing into. There are more than adequate disclosures being done in line with the requirement of the regulator where the regulator has done a great job in, you know, making the portfolio disclosures much more uh, uh, clearer and, you know, <clears throat> straight to the investors so that there is less ambiguity to the investors and easy to understand. Apart from that, uh, we firmly believe that uh, mutual funds offer a great uh, flexibility in terms of liquidity, diversification and uh, uh, the risk control measures that uh, one should exercise in investing and that's what it is. Okay, and those are uh, the reasons uh, to invest in debt funds. It's flashing for you on your screen and uh, the ways to pick a good debt fund. Uh, you spoke about credit quality, right? I just had a follow-up over there, Rahul. For an average layman investor, how does one check on the credit quality of the paper that the debt fund is investing in? Yeah, so the in Indian parlance, uh, if you see the rating instruments have... Uh, all the instruments have a rating and they have been disclosed in the back sheet and the overall credit profile of the portfolio is also disclosed on the on the fact sheet and the uh, <clears throat> you know information is given on every 15 day basis apart from that they can also consult uh, any of the funds directly or their uh, you know uh, uh, trusted investment advisors, but they should primarily understand that AAA offers the highest possible safety in the debt instruments, AAA is uh, high safety, and uh, then unless the risk reward is uh, commensurate, uh, funds typically do not invest below AA unless it is risk reward is hugely favorable to them. Hmm. But yeah, these are the broad, broad parameters. Apart from that, uh, funds invest majorly into the sovereign bonds, which include the issue, uh, the securities issued by the uh, Honorable Government of India, as well as the various state, state governments, they are absolutely safe securities as far as the credit credit is concerned. Obviously, they do come with their own set of interest rate risk, and uh, you know that the fund manager is expected to, you know, maneuver and you know keep the decision making in a way that suits the investor expectation and. Uh, uh, 
uh, in line with the investment objective of the scheme. Okay, Rahul, uh, it was a, a masterclass that is much needed, right? A lot of basics is what we spoke about, but sometimes you need these basics to remember how to yep. best uh, maximize your portfolio. And thanks a lot for joining us on CNBC TV 18. We've run out of time, but not out of topics. Keep writing to us. We love receiving feedback from you. Until we meet again, have a great weekend. And thanks a lot for watching.